frequency of music can encourage relaxation, promote positivity and decrease your overall anxiety. Certain frequencies have been linked to increased concentration and alertness, problem solving and improved memory. Hey Divas! In today's video, we're diving into the world of music and its incredible power of frequency. So join me for a walk and talk in nature as I teach you more on this fascinating subject. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave and turn on notifications. That way you never miss an upcoming video. So music has been an integral part of human culture since time immemorial. Beyond its aesthetic appeal, music carries a unique quality that resonates with us at an even deeper level, its frequency. Every musical note has a specific frequency that influences our emotions, thoughts and even physical well-being. Different musical frequencies can have varying effects on our bodies and minds. So today I'd like to explore some more of these as we go on this little nature walk and talk. I'm back in my hometown today at one of my favorite lifestyle centers. And I just absolutely love this place. You guys know I love being out and about in nature. So what a perfect opportunity for us to hang out and do a little nature walk and talk while we learn more about the frequency of music. So different musical frequencies can have varying effects on our bodies and minds. Some of the remarkable benefits that music has to offer I'm going to share with you today but there are plenty more besides these ones. Definitely top of the list would be stress reduction. Life can be stressful, but music has the incredible ability to help us unwind and relax. Research has shown that the slow tempo music with soothing frequencies can lower heart rate, reduce cortisol levels. Cortisol is the stress hormone and it can also promote overall relaxation. So the next time you feel overwhelmed, try tuning into some calming tunes. Another big one is mood enhancement. I mean, we can't forget about this one. Most definitely, um, have you ever noticed how your favorite upbeat song can instantly lift your spirits? I'm sure you have. And that's because music releases endorphins in our brains, which I actually did talk about in a previous video. These are those feel good chemicals responsible for boosting our mood. So whether you're feeling down or need an energy boost, turning on to your favorite playlist can work wonders. Another thing I've highlighted is the cognitive boost. It's fascinating how music can stimulate our brains to enhance cognitive function. Studies have found that listening to classical music with its intricate harmonies and melodies can improve focus, memory retention, and even problem solving abilities. So the next time you're studying or need to concentrate, consider adding some classical compositions to your playlist. All of these different frequencies will have different effects on the human mind and body. Another important one that doesn't get talked about enough is pain management. Believe it or not, music can also be a powerful tool for managing pain. Certain frequencies and rhythms can distract our brains from pain signals effectively reducing our perception of discomfort. Music therapy is increasingly being used in hospitals to assist patients during medical procedures or alleviate chronic pain conditions. What about emotional expression? 
I am sure you have experienced this as well, listening to certain songs and how they can stir up a whirlwind of different emotions. This is because music has a unique way of helping us express and process our emotions. When words fail, melodies can convey what we struggle to articulate. So whether it's joy, sadness or love, music allows us to connect with our feelings and find solace. So let music be your companion on your emotional journey. As we conclude our little exploration on the benefits of music's frequency, and our nature walk as well. It's important to remember that everyone's experience with music is deeply personal. So experiment with different genres and frequencies to find out what resonates with you the most. Music is a universal language after all that transcends barriers and connects us on a profound level. Its frequencies can heal, uplift and inspire us in ways that we may not fully comprehend. So let's embrace the power of music in our lives and its harmonious guide towards living a more joyful and fulfilling existence. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the frequency of music and my little nature walk. I hope it's been enlightening and relaxing for you as well. Now, if you enjoyed that little walk and talk in nature, everything that we explored about the frequency of music, if you would like to learn even more and go further on your singing and vocal journey, I encourage you to check out the beautiful course that I have put together for you. It's called Learn How to Sing, Vocal Training. And it takes you through all the way from beginner to intermediate and then to advanced vocal training. So no matter what level you may be on, anyone and everyone will benefit from this type of course. You can really transform your vocals and build your self-esteem. Details in the description box below. In the comment section, let me know if you enjoyed our little walk and talk in nature. What type of videos do you enjoy and what other subjects would you like me to teach on? I appreciate all of your beautiful feedback. Now, before I end this video, I have to point out that the frequency of music would not be done justice if we didn't acknowledge the power that we have in our own voice. There are overwhelming studies that show the power of your own voice can have the most impact on your brain. Meaning, let's say you have to hear the voice of others, people that may put you down, or even people that may encourage you, your mom, your dad, your siblings or friends. With all of those voices that we hear on a daily basis, the research shows that the sound of our own voice, meaning looking at yourself in the mirror and doing some positive affirmations or whatever it may be, that positive self-talk that I always encourage, that internal mental dialogue, that voice of yourself has the most profound impact on your human brain and on your belief system as well. So do bear that in mind with the way that you talk to yourself. That has a frequency of its own because it is your own unique voice. Use it wisely and always be kind to yourself. Now that's a powerful frequency. Now, speaking of the way in which we talk to ourselves, in my next video, I am going to be sharing with you six hacks to brainwash yourself confident. Yes, you heard me. You can actually brainwash or program your mind to feel more confident. It's going to be a really exciting video, so you'll want to join me in that next one.
And until then, my beautiful divas, stay awesome.